Hello everybody, I'm Jessica Nicole Dickerson aka JD and welcome back to another video and my finger got stuck in my hair. Great, we're off to a great start. So you might be wondering, why? What's with the lights? Why, why aren't we by your bookshelf? What's going on, Jeff? So you might be able to tell from the title, I'm doing a room tour and I'm hyped because it's just, this is like the first time in a very long time that I've had a dedicated room to myself filled with my things to completion because for the last like Basically five years, I've been living in and out of like borrowed rooms, borrowed spaces, blow up beds, lots and lots of blow up beds and couches. But finally, the end of 2020, I have my own dedicated room and it's really, really exciting. So I'm just gonna take you around with me. And what's great about my room is that it's a bunch of reading nooks within a room. Honestly, I have like four reading pockets that I'm gonna show you guys and yeah, I'm just hyped for this Let me know. Do you have your own room or do you have your own apartment? Um, and how many reading nooks can you count within your own space since we all love reading here? I'm curious to know how many spots because I think I have like three dedicated like dedicated reading spots for my room, which is just hilarious to me. So I'm interested to hear if you guys are like me and you have multiple spots for reading, let me know down below. <laughs> okay, let's get into it. To go over what you should already know, if you don't know, I have a bookshelf tour up so you've seen the bookshelves. But yeah, that's the front door. You walk in and the first thing you see are the magical bookshelves. Dun, 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 dun. And if you want more details, obviously go see the bookshelf tour where I go through every shelf and name my faves and all that jazz. But yeah. These are them. They are the Billy bookcases from Ikea. I'll link them below. Um, it, it has been difficult trying to get your hands on them. They sell out very quickly, so I would call very early, like when they open up call and like leave your name down on like, what's it called? When you reserve, reserve it or check secondhand websites, but just don't, don't overpay for them. You should not be paying more than like 50 bucks for a secondhand bookshelf. You know what I mean? So just be careful of that. But yeah. These are the bookshelves, and then I have my reading nook, the first one down below that I'll show you guys. This is she. This is, this is it. I have some random books that I was considering, like, reading here. But yeah, you know, just, just chilling while I read. I got these, the pillow, this little floor pillow that's super freaking cute on Amazon for like 20 bucks and it ended up being way nicer quality than I thought and this little desk was I think 20 bucks too at the time and I just like to put my book up here and be like educating myself you know throw some pillows behind me and it's also a great place to record videos as you guys saw on my TBR video and I have a bunch of other videos coming out where I just film on my little pillow of course I'm like sitting up not like dramatic laid out like this I just I just didn't want to fix the camera to be, you know. This is reading nook number one. So basically, just the floor on the pillow, the little desk, and it's a great little spot. The next thing I also lay down in, in my bed. Um, I don't count this as like a reading nook, and you can also see some pillows back there, my only stuffed animals. I have the bear from Brave, a turd pillow, thanks mom, and Olaf, and a little Dr. Seuss rattle toy, because I'm an adult, obviously. Um, but yeah, I don't count this as a reading note because I only like to sleep in my bed. Seems like a normal thought, but I know a lot of people like to watch like movies in their bed and like be on their phone in their bed. Bedtime is purely bedtime. I'm dedicated to just sleeping, <laughs> but I do enjoy the fairy lights. It adds just a little up a little bit of whimsy to it um, but yeah that's that's it I'll link the bed down below if you're looking for furniture as well I got it on a discount the bed and the mattress on Amazon I'll link them down below but I would save them because you want to save them and buy them when they're on sale okay that's the important detail because otherwise you'll be paying a hundred some dollars and then in three months or three weeks they're on sale for like 50. I got the whole bundle, the mattress, and the, the bed frame for 100. It was a great, great deal. So yeah, that's that's that one I forgot. My cuddle buddy, my big doggo. He doesn't have a name, and he's freaking huge. He's human, 
human-sized cuddle buddy, so who needs a life partner when you have a giant stuffed dog? Am I right, people? <laughs> so he just chills, and he's kind of like just a third pillow. It's a great cuddle. Great color. I'll also link the sheets down below, because I also got these sheets online too, and they're very nice. They're like satiny, I think. I don't know, I'm, I'm very cheap, so they may not be satin, but they feel nice, which is what's important. <laughs> so next corner. Oh, so this is what I'd call reading nook number two. It obviously should be reading nook number one. Let me let me bring you closer, sorry. But yeah, it's a lovely papasan chair. I will link it below where I got it. It's really nice. This was expensive because I didn't want to buy a cheapo one and everything on Amazon was sold out. So I'll link what I can below. So yeah, this is literally my favorite spot in the whole room because I just sit here and chill and read and educate myself again. And it's just super comfy. I like kick up my feet. You can see my little fuzzy house shoes. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's just literally the best thing ever. And you can kind of see the fairy lights behind me. It's just a perfect little spot to read. I it's the best investment literally ever besides buying a proper bed in bookshelves is this chair because I just feel so at home, so relaxed. I'm just like, good night, you know, take a nap here. It's, it's a good time. But yeah, and then you can kind of see, I could show you this little added bookshelf. Let me move the chair. And you can kind of see the added bookshelf here. I'll tilt it down so you can see a little better. Tons of just extra more academic books. You know, I like to call them that even though they're not that. I have some acting books, some theater books, a lot of um, drama collections other things <laughs> i have more drama related content like a lot of books that i had to buy for school and then i have journals pens obviously i have some switch games here you could tell because they're like super bright red my journals i got some oh I dvds and then let's see i have this is like my messy corner of all my like electronics that i use on the occasion i even have some fairy lights here that i'm not too sure what to do with just yet i might put them on my bookcase for like holiday season um but headphones and then i got a bunch of stickers so yeah it's my messy kind of drawer thing basically i got this little thing from amazon too oh my god i got so many things from amazon that's hilarious um but i got this because all my books couldn't fit on my bookshelf and i'm gonna have a serious problem after christmas because i don't think if i were to get 10 more books i literally don't think they could fit on the bookshelves the bookshelves are crammed to capacity so I might have to get another bookcase which I mean is exciting but at the same time not because I really don't want more than two bookshelves I'm trying to be minimal and selective with my collection but obviously I have so many books that I need to read so I don't want to get rid of anything too much even though I have an un unhaul coming up where I unhaul like 12 plus books and I discussed maybe unhauling more but yeah that's that's obviously that's coming next week um, but yeah, uh, I just so tight for books and I just don't want, uh, it's so hard. Okay, but let's move on to the next section, which is kind of my third reading nook. And I say kind of, and you'll get what I mean when I say kind of. This is kind of the third reading nook. And it's really honestly the one I read the most in, though the Papasan chair is the most comfortable it does, like, I do get very chill in it, so sometimes when I have to do work work or I really need to read, like if I'm doing a beta project, I'm like, and I need to focus, I come here. And it's pretty messy. I have the book I'm currently reading, my laptops and tripods, other books I need to read. But the most coolest thing that I have on this desk is the BenQ lights. Let me, let me pull you in so you can see it a little better and turn this puppy on. Ooh, I love this thing first of all it makes vlogging at night super easy because it illuminates so much stuff but it is a more modern desk light that's literally built for reading like it's built for reading because of this curve so that way when you read your book let me let me open up a book and show you when you open up your book you don't have to like do that thing where you have to keep tilting towards the light because it 
like spreads across the whole page. It's phenomenal. I love it so much. And you can control how bright you want it. Is it changing? Am I doing it right? See? Brighter, dimmer. Isn't that, that's so cool. And you might not be able to tell on camera, but it's getting darker and lighter. And it's just a little tap to turn it off and turn on. It's the best thing. It has improved my reading so much. And the light, when I turn it all the way up, is so bright. It literally brightens the Papasan chair. The Papasan chair is like right there, right down there. Let me show you because it's so close. But you wouldn't think that I'd be able to read there with just this light, but I totally can. I will link it down below because it's literally changed my life. It is so cool and I like it so much. And it, it's very modern and sleek looking, so it kind of matches the aesthetic of the room. I like it. It's quite enjoyable. But yeah, so this is kind of the third reading nook. And then I also have a bunch of artwork on the walls that I will insert a clip here of all my artwork on my walls. So I have some artwork from specific artists. This one's from an Etsy artist. I got my postcards from Paris, postcard from Hawaii. They're all super cute. And I'll try and link down below the two artists that I got posters from. Obviously the postcards I don't think you can get. Look how cute that is. She's in a little bookstore cafe thing. How cute. But yeah, those are the posters over my wall. Cute, the Ben Q light. He thrives, he's living. And then I have a little stack of journals and my book that I need to read. Then I have this sexy mouse pad that I got from a black lit box i'll link it down below if you're interested in getting one of their boxes they're very cool so i just love looking at that it's so gorgeous and if you're wondering this little pile is some unplugged boxes i have a video up if you want to check out me unboxing some of those items my current read which i'm having so much fun reading i can't wait to show you guys the vlog of dark academia this has been such a wild ride my laptop <laughs> the reality of being diabetic is you take a lot of shots and you are lazy when throwing out your needles or well, at least i am i have this random box which used to hold my tbr like those things but it just didn't look nice so i just have two mugs that are cute with a bunch of random stuff insulin i have some bookmarks i have some gloss all my pens random paintbrush and scissors yeah i literally some Things that used to go in my purse, my pins that I love so freaking much, my Hawaii themed pins. I don't know why it's next to this fall leaf, but you know, that's okay. Got a little figure. Um, and then my candles that I got from the Unplugged Unboxings. They are so good. And I just started burning this one because it just smells so freaking amazing. If it'll focus on it, it doesn't want to. I guess I will link it down below, but it smells great. But yeah. And that's basically it for what's on the desk. And then on this wall, I have a Darker Sheet of Magic poster that I got with my box set that I purchased on like a thrift store online, which is just so lucky and I love it a lot. The, uh, the aesthetic is cute. And then I got these two from Ikea a long, long time ago that I've been carrying around with me and I just think they're cute. It's a random fish, and I think I am that fish that's jumping out of the bowl. Me being weird and reckless in life. Yeah, that's me. And then this random Parisian-looking illustration, because you can see the little Eiffel Tower far away in the cafe shops. Oh, I miss Paris. And then random stuff on top of this little bookshelf thing. I don't know if you'd call this a bookshelf, but I'll link it down below too. Um, just notes from my parents that are super freaking cute and sweet. And then my high school diploma, eventually I'll hang up my college diploma because I'm a graduate. Wee. But yeah, that's all the stuff that's on my desk. La la la. I really like them. I collected some postcards when I went to Paris and I dated them on the back. And then I just bought recently or like maybe two years ago for my dorm room. I bought some art from an artist that I'll link down below. I will also link down below some other artists that I like that you should maybe support if you have the means to. 
<laughs> I don't know how to show you this. This is like the last section of my room. It's not special. It's my little baby TV and dresser drawers, you know? Not, not special at all. I do really love the Switch. I play it, I try to play it at least a couple times a week and I'm not very good at video games, but it's a lot of fun. Oh look, you could see yourself. Hello! And you could see all the lights in the background. Fun. But yeah, I literally will move my papa -san chair closer here and just be like playing on my Switch or watching a movie with my family and it's a good time. Um, these drawers are also from Ikea and I also didn't mention the chair and the desk are from Ikea as well. Everything's on shortage, so I literally went to the clearance section of Ikea and bought some of their clearance stuff because everything was allowed. Hopefully they're getting more things in stock, but I understand the shortage makes sense. Pandemic and everything, you know. I understand. I'm not that needy, but yeah. Um, and that's really it. The last thing in my room that you guys really don't see ever <laughs> is the closet. And yes, I'm squatting right now. <laughs> Let me let me lift the camera up so I don't have to do this anymore. <laughs> okay, so yeah, the last thing in my room is the closet. So you can see the TV, my desk, the Papasan chair. So uh, you don't you don't deserve a tour of this because it's nasty in here. I'll, I'll open it just so you can see how gross and messy it is. It's not too bad. Okay, I have all of my clothes that needs to be hung here. I literally. <laughs> That's it. The whole other side is empty. I'll show you it, I guess. Um, and then I have some bags that I carry, like fragile items when I move. Laundry baskets below. A bunch of laundry bags there. Let's open this side. <laughs> and this side's empty. Um, I have tons of luggage bags down here um, and some storage stuff and then extra mugs and cups really boring semi messy not really organized but i just think it's really funny how little clothes i have in the closet and in my dressers trying to be that minimal aesthetic you know consumer conscious person we're trying we're trying it's not going that good but i'm trying oh and i don't know if i showed you but above my tv i have some cute prints that i got when i first moved to college literally my mom got me these two when I first moved into my first dorm room in 2015. Oh, it was so long ago. Um, little Dr. Seuss guy, because I love Dr. Seuss as a child with a reading disability. I really held on to my Dr. Seuss books because they were simple and easy. And when my teacher told me that I needed to stop reading Dr. Seuss, I was so sad. But you know what? I still have those memories. He's still the real MVP. You know what I mean? Fox and socks. Mic drop. <laughs> and then some cheesy quote about being happy but yeah so those are the art prints on that wall so overview of the desk she's cute she's nice i think that's actually considered a dining chair instead of like a desk chair whoop and you can see ben q in his full potential being all light and bright and stuff all the extra books i hope you can hear the cracking of the tripod it's hilarious you know papa -san chair, bed, and door, and then back to the bookshelves where we first began. Ah, uh, that's it. That's the room. I hope you liked it. I hope it inspired you. I also really am curious to find out how many reading nooks you have within your room. If you have multiple, if you just have one cute reading spot, if anything, you should also tweet pictures at me. I'd love to physically see your reading nooks. That would be so exciting. And if you made it to this part of the video, leave a this emoji uh, down below so I know that you're the real MVP. And yeah, if you liked this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe so you don't miss out. And if you want to support me even farther, consider joining my Patreon. They get all the news first. They knew about my room and all the stuff that happened like two weeks ago they're in the know-how they're they're on another level so consider joining if you like my channel and want to support me but yeah that's it that's i'm really tired <laughs> that is all i have for you today so yeah i hope this video gave you a little bit more sunshine and i'll see you in the next one bye the best sticker purchase i ever made and the second best sticker purchase i made reference to red queen we love but yeah gotta deck out the switch with stickers you know what i mean